Right now, live at 5, we're on the scene of a big blaze at the Moose Event Center in downtown Hibby. And a second day of peaceful protests gave way to clashes and destruction in Kenosha, Wisconsin, after a black man who is now paralyzed was shot by police. Duluth hockey community is remembering a beloved member who played the game for nearly a century. Plus, from Hayward to the Iron Range, there's a number of things you'll want to hear about in today's City by City segment. Plus, a big shakeup in leadership at the deck, why the executive director is out and who's in the pipeline to take over. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over Lake Superior. Wind and waves mean a red flag warning tonight on Park Point Beach. Duluth Fire issued that advisory this afternoon. It means you should stay out of the water no matter your swimming experience. The warning expires at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. A major fire has been burning for hours at a historic building in downtown Hibbing. Within the last hour, we're learning the roof has collapsed. CBS 3's John Cardinelli is there now and brings us the details. We're just outside the Moose Club right now. Take a look here at the scene. You can see firefighters still battling some smoke coming from the building. You could take a look over there in the corner. Smoke still coming up from that corner of the building and firefighters on both sides with ladders pointing water and shooting it down onto the top of the building. And we do have some word that their roof has collapsed and they're still fighting some fire from underneath that roof. Now, this is what the scene looked like earlier today. Heavy smoke and flames spilling out the top of the building when crews arrived this morning. Thankfully, no one was injured. The building is known for holding all kinds of events and was a historic gathering place here in Hibbing. The building housed other businesses before that. We spoke with a woman who came to watch crews battle the blaze. She says it's a sad day on the Iron Range. To me, this is devastating. It's, you know, I've watched the whole thing disintegrate. You know, as I reached adulthood and raised my kids two blocks away, and it's pretty sad. Firefighters still have three blocks blocked off around the scene of the fire. No word on when they plan to reopen them. And we, at this moment, we do not know exactly what caused this fire. We do know that state and local investigators are on the scene and ready to investigate when the time comes. And as we get more details on this fire, we will continue to keep you updated on air, online, and on our mobile app. All right, thanks, John. That is a very developing story there in Hibbing. We will continue to follow it, and we will have the latest again at 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, we now know the cause of a fatal fire in Duluth's East Hillside neighborhood. The fire broke out at an apartment complex on East 3rd Street two weeks ago. Duluth fire officials have ruled it an accidental kitchen fire. 36-year-old Michael Simone was staying at the apartment as a guest. Others in the building at the time tried rescuing him, but he later died at the hospital. Minnesota plans to more than double its coronavirus testing capacity at a multi-million dollar price. Governor Tim Walz's office says the state is finalizing a nearly $15 million deal with Vault Health. It would allow Minnesota to offer the country's first saliva COVID-19 test. State officials hope to have the new lab near St. Paul up and running by October. The lab will add 30,000 daily tests to Minnesota's current testing capacity of 20,000 per day. A lawsuit has been filed looking to overturn Wisconsin's statewide mask mandate. Democratic Governor Tony Evers issued the mandatory mask mandate on July 30th. The lawsuit filed today in Polk County Court by the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty was on behalf of three western Wisconsin residents. They argue that Evers did not have the legal authority to issue the order. It took effect August 1st and is scheduled to run until September 28th. The family of a black man shot by police in Kenosha, Wisconsin is speaking out. Jacob Blake is now said to be paralyzed from the waist down. His shooting has sparked days of peaceful protests and nights of destruction. CBS's Molly Lanehe is in Kenosha with the latest. The family of Jacob Blake is speaking out after he was shot multiple times by police in Kenosha, Wisconsin. They shot my son seven times, seven times, like he didn't matter, but my son matters. 
The family says Blake is paralyzed from the waist down. Shot fired. Happy shot fired. A video circulating on social media appears to show an officer shooting Blake in the back as he tried to get in his car. His three sons were inside. Attorney Ben Crump says Blake had been trying to de-escalate a domestic disturbance. Complainant says Jacob Blake isn't supposed to be there and he took the complainant's keys and refused, is refusing to get them back. Protesters in Kenosha defied a citywide curfew Monday night and came face to face with police dressed in riot gear. Demonstrators are calling for the officers involved in Blake's shooting to be held accountable. In the morning light, firefighters were still dousing the flames of smoldering buildings. Several businesses are severely damaged or gutted. The Department of Corrections facility is completely destroyed. If Jacob knew what was going on as far as that goes, the violence and the destruction, he would be very unpleased. In a statement, the Kenosha Police Union urged people to know the facts before passing judgment, saying, as always, the video currently circulating does not capture all the intricacies of a highly dynamic incident. The officers involved have been placed on leave. Their identities have not been announced. The National Guard has been called in to assist. And Governor Tony Evers is also declaring a state of emergency in response to that unrest. Evers' emergency order activates more National Guard members than it did yesterday. They're assigned to protect critical infrastructure in Kenosha County and help keep the peace. The Guard can't be used to stop people from peacefully protesting. A leadership shakeup at the Duluth Entertainment Convention Center. The DEC Board of Directors says Shelley Townsend is no longer the executive director, a title she held since 2017. Board Director Karen Pionk couldn't share more about Townsend's departure, only saying it's a personnel matter. Pionk said talks are underway to name an interim executive director. Townsend was promoted to executive director in August of 2017 after longtime executive director Dan Russell retired. Russell served in the position for 27 years. Townsend worked in various capacities at the DEC since 1990, including serving as assistant executive director from 2011 to 2017. The DEC board of directors is set to meet tomorrow. However, Pionk didn't expect any action on the leadership changes. The board held two closed door meetings earlier this month. We were unable to reach Townsend today for comment. All right, let's turn to the weather now with Dave. Dave, uh, clouding over, but no rain yet, huh, here in Duluth? Yeah, the rain is still well over towards the Dakotas, and it's okay. coming courtesy of twin low-pressure systems working our way. Folks along the Gulf Coast are worried about twin tropical storms, and frankly, those will pack much more punch than yeah. our lows. But ours still could give us a bit of a flick across the back of the head here in the form of a threat of uh, a couple of severe thunderstorms overnight tonight. This live look is over towards Effie. We're eyeing up the sky to see if any rain's falling there yet. And no, not yet. It may not come till after midnight to our region. But when it does, the twin lows will do a couple of things. Twin warm fronts will really make things warm and humid around here. And that'll be the fuel and energy for lift to bring us... Well, like I mentioned, a couple of severe thunderstorms possible for Wednesday. And so the chance begins after midnight tonight, goes up towards a 60% shot by lunchtime tomorrow. And then by tomorrow evening this time, it should be over and it should be clearing. A high temp of 80 degrees is warmer than normal for this time of year. Can we hold on to that? I'll show you with the seven-day forecast which way those temperatures will go. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, a challenge to residents in Grand Rapids, plus an annual event for veterans goes virtual. City by City is coming up next. Plus, tonight at 6, the Coast Guard and the National Guard teamed up today practicing potentially life-saving water rescues. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki, Anthony Matt, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS 3. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. During the Labor Day sale at Home Sleep Express, save up to $500 in factory savings on select Tempur-Pedic mattresses and adjustable sets, plus a $300 home shopping cart, free delivery, setup, and no interest financing for six years. Labor Day Tempur-Pedic savings at Home Sleep Express. The garage, it's your space. Get a garage fit for all of your agricultural needs with our Farmer 40 by 40 garage. Store all the equipment needed to get the job done. No matter what you put in your space, trust us to build it right. Economy Garages, built right, priced right. 
When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. The Spectrum has tons of HD. And we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Plus, sometimes in the rain, our services go out. Because of the dish on your roof? Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-916-4499. And Spectrum Internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get Internet from another company, and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts, and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-916-4499. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Vaki every Tuesday at 10. Brought to you by Iron Mining Association, Range Regional Airport, and Miners National Bank of Evelyn. Only on live local CBS3. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on live local CBS3. During the Labor Day sale at Home Sleep Express, get no interest financing for six years on Beautyrest. Plus, save up to $800 on select Beautyrest mattresses and adjustable sets. Free delivery and a 120-day guarantee. Labor Day mattress savings at Home Sleep Express. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look at Bayfield, Wisconsin. Dave Anderson is tracking the potential for some rain later tonight. He'll have your full weather forecast coming up in just a few minutes. But first, Kristen, what's going on around the region? Well, Tony, a school drive in Grand Rapids and an informational seminar in Hibbing. That and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. To start things off in Grand Rapids, where the United Way of 1000 Lakes is getting ready for the annual school supply drive ahead of the fall semester. But this year's drive is going to look a little different than years past. This will be the first ever Stuff the Bus event, which is calling on community members to donate enough items to fill an entire school bus. The drive is scheduled for September 1st in Grand Rapids. Due to COVID-19, donors have the option to buy school supplies through the drive's online wish list. Now to Hibbing, where Iron Range veterans are being called to stand down. The annual event put on by the Yellow Ribbon of Hibbing is a workshop geared towards providing veterans with resources related to military and retirement. This year, the event will take place virtually uh, due to COVID-19. Topics covered will include entrepreneurship, health care, benefits, and much more. And finally, we go to Hayward, where the area choir has announced the annual Christmas cantata has been canceled. Choir rep Cheryl Bieber made that announcement via email. She also said while the concert may be canceled, Christmas will still go on, and she encourages people to celebrate safely in their churches and homes. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email, and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, the Northland is mourning the loss of a hockey icon today. Here's a live look over towards Jacobson out west. And the sky's getting a bit gray, but no rain yet. May not come till after midnight, but when it comes, well, it could include a couple of claps of thunder and some lightning to boot, of course. We'll talk about how long they'll stick around coming up after the break. starting. Is your internet fast enough? Gear up during Extreme's end of the summer sale. Get fast internet as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Extreme's fiber powered internet gets an A plus for performance with speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig. Powerful in-home Wi-Fi and 99.99% network reliability. Hurry and get Extreme internet for as low as $19.99 a month for a year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. It's the smart call. Tune in Saturday mornings for the Link Ford lineup, where we will show you amazing vehicles on our lot, like this 2017 Ford Taurus SEL, with a remote start, a backup camera, and more for just $314 a month. Or check out this 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LT for only $399 a month. Want to see more? Then be sure to watch this Saturday. Visit us online at linkmotors.com or stop by either one of our two locations to view our complete inventory. Link Ford, where reputation is everything. 
got one for you. See, you care. Health plan demystifiers and sleeve roller uppers. You care. Health plan demystifiers and sleeve roller uppers. <laughs> Sounds so good when you say it. 96% of all providers accept you care because they rock so hard. 96% of all providers accept you care because they ride so hard. <laughs> Can we even pull over? <laughs> What's our tagline? You care, people powered health plan. So good. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. Fondaluth Casino is hiring. Apply today. The show critics are praising as genius is now the Emmy winner for outstanding talk show host. What? And the stars love it too. You're so good. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on live local CBS 3. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Economy Garages. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. As twin low pressure systems get closer to our area, they're kicking up the winds with the right fetch across Lake Superior to make the Weather Service issue one of their beach hazard alerts. That means rip currents are possible both for Park Point and Wisconsin Point, probably through tomorrow morning. And at the same time, for the North Shore and the South Shore small craft advisory in effect. May not be a good night to go boating or swimming, and in fact, we may not want to get on the water till about this time tomorrow evening when our storm systems pass away. And then we get a bit of a break for Thursday, but perhaps only for Thursday, because a third low pressure system could bring back a storm chance come Friday. All right, as usual. We'll talk about that in more detail here in just a bit. But first, we're going to take a look at, hopefully, some current conditions out there around our region. They're coming in from Duluth International Airport. And current temp is 69 degrees. Relative humidity, 68%. Easterly winds running 13 miles per hour. And our air pressure at the surface is fairly high at 30 inches straight up, but up aloft it's already decreasing. And that'll follow suit to the surface. And the result will be a cloudier sky and some pretty decent shower and storm chances, perhaps through tomorrow evening. Current temps. 78 degrees Watersmeet, 74 Ironwood, 71 Ashland, 82 for Siren, upper 70s for much of the rest of inland Wisconsin, but cooler by the lake in Superior at 66. And is cooler by the lake right now along the North Shore with temperatures there in the 60s. And then much of Minnesota interior-wise here is in the mid-70s. Tomorrow with twin lows and twin warm fronts, we'll get fairly warm into the 80s for a lot of towns and humid to boot which again, of course, supplies energy for the storm systems to feed on. Doppler map right now shows a couple of light showers trying to creep in with the clouds that are increasing here through northern Minnesota. That hasn't done much in the way of anything for northern Wisconsin yet, but of course it could, and for the upper peninsula as well. Going from the Doppler map right now to what we're expecting for Wednesday, there's the twin low pressure systems bringing 50 to 60 percent chances for showers and storms. And after midnight tonight through about 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, there is a chance for severe storms to be embedded in these systems here with the big threat being high winds and up to one inch hail. So we're going to have to be ready to seek shelter on Wednesday and then come out of it come Thursday because it should be pretty nice. At least for Thursday, high pressure will bring a sunny day if only for one day, because by Friday that next low brings back the thunder chance, which in turn gives way to a fairly decent but cooler weekend. For tonight in Minnesota, the low temps, they will be 58 to 63, 50% chance for storms after midnight. In Wisconsin and Michigan, it's a 50-50 shot there too, with lows from 60 to 65. So the warm up from the twin warm fronts is beginning. Tomorrow's Wisconsin Michigan highs 80 to 85, 50% chance for thunderstorms through the day. And it's a 60% shot for Minnesota, 70s by the lake, 80s inland. That is warmer than normal, and it likely will be the warmest day of the week because then temperatures descend from Thursday towards next Monday and Tuesday where we go from the 70s into the 60s. And in between, a pretty decent weekend with a partly cloudy sky, high temps in the low 70s. That, of course, comes after another 50% chance for showers and storms on Friday. Thanks, Dave. 
The Northland hockey community is mourning the loss of one of their own tonight. Hockey legend Mark Surdich passed away Monday at 99 years old. Known as the oldest hockey player in the country, a family friend takes us back in time to when he first met Surdich and shares the impact he's had on the community. CBS 3's Leanne Valdez has the story. Well, that's where you got to look at it. Friends say hockey phenomenon Mark Surtich was a force to be reckoned with. He did not want other people to do things for him. Even at the age of 99, he did everything himself. The way he kept himself fit and clean and kept his house clean, he, could, he, you know, he lived independently. He was a real go-getter, says good friend and retired Duluth firefighter Dane Youngbloom. The two played in a hockey league together right up to the end. He really liked to play hockey as a competitive sport, you know, he wanted to score. It's, it's such a great game. Young Bloom says even when they first met, Surtich at age 70 had a passion for hockey that couldn't keep him off the bench. Mark uh, just showed up one day at the rink and he asked if he could play with us because he was looking for more ice time. Seemed like a nice guy, so we welcomed him in. Go, go, go. And that's when the start of a 30-year-old friendship yeah, it, began. You know, it was a small part of his life, but it was a bigger part of my life, you know. It's... Surtich made his last goal Monday morning after complications with medical issues. He just died peacefully at home. Uh, he had his family around him. Youngbloom recalls one of the last times he, he got to her. celebrate a milestone with Surtich at his birthday party last month. So we organized a drive-by to surprise him. <laughs> and we got his family to get him out on his front porch, and then we came by with uh, fire trucks and ambulances. And though Youngbloom says Surtich would have loved to make it to 100, he knows he's happy now that he's with his late wife. Ago, and they were very close, and uh, he, he did want to go be with her. So. And that Surtich is proud of the life he lived on and off the ice. I uh, enjoyed my life in Duluth here. It's been a wonderful place to live and grow up and uh, raise a family. And, uh, hopefully... There are no current plans for a funeral. Friends and family plan to celebrate what would have been Surtich's 100th birthday next year in July. We'll keep you posted on those details. It's once again that time of the show where we get to talk about pets. Today's comes to us from the Shawamigan Humane Association in Ashland, Wisconsin. Meet Skye. She's a one-year-old terrier mix with brown and white coloring. This lovable pup is new to the shelter, but she is full of love for everyone. She gets along great with people and other dogs, though they might get a little jealous of her attention seeking. Skye is in the market for a new adventure partner. If you think that is you, you can set up an appointment to adopt Skye by calling the number on your screen. Still to come, it's back to class for Duluth Marshall School students. How the school is bringing students back for in-person learning during COVID-19. Whether you're traveling for business or pleasure, use Range Regional Airport. The online calculator helps me plan my trip. I fly from Hibbing because it saves me time. I love the easy check-in and fast baggage claims. I like the free parking in car rentals. Include Range Regional Airport next time you travel. It's so easy, even a grown-up can do it. This is a really weird house. I choked on a banana. The more twists, the more crazy the house is, the more people start to panic. I like that. At this point in time, everyone else is fair game. Are you going to come after me? Like, stupid. Like, I'm so ready to just, like, run in slime and flip Did upside you? down. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like, yes, black girl magic, let's do it. New Big Brother All-Stars, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 8, 7 Central on CBS. Our Northland may not have the longest severe weather season, but it does come around every now and then. I'm hoping folks will keep an eye to the sky and on Channel 3 here this summer. If severe weather threatens Austin Haskins, Caitlin Moffat, and I will keep our eyes glued to the radar. We'll break in if you need to hear about the latest storm developments. We'll work together to keep our region safe. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS 3. You gonna pick that up? Cause there's no poop fairy to do that for you. See? Take these. They're not just poop bags. They're pride bags. Because you're doing the right thing for your neighbors and for the health of the whole watershed. Gotta fly. There's a chihuahua cranking one out in Leicester right now. There is no poop fairy. 
Skilled trade workers are the backbone of every community and also the Army National Guard. Soldiers get paid training to keep the power flowing, engines running, and supplies moving. Army National Guard soldiers are learning skills that can set them up for success with companies looking to hire the best. The Army National Guard basically built my resume for me. Find out how you can learn a trade and serve part-time for your community and country by visiting NationalGuard.com. The show critics are praising as genius is now the Emmy winner for Outstanding Talk Show Host. What? And the stars love it, too. It's so good. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on Live Local, CBS 3. Dear Penny, heads we stay local, tails we hit the road. With a new Toyota, you'll always land a winner. Your friends, Toyota. Toyota. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Vaki every Tuesday at 10. Brought to you by Iron Mining Association, Range Regional Airport, and Miners National Bank of Evelyn. Only on live local CBS3. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on live local CBS3. Students at Marshall School in Duluth started on-campus learning today. The school welcomed back its 4th through 12th grade students for in-person orientation. At this point, grades 4 through 6 will learn in person every day, while students in grades 7 through 12 will use a hybrid model. But school leaders say they have four different scenarios in place that can change depending on the rate of confirmed cases in the community. On Wednesday, students will have the choice to learn from home or come to campus. Students and staff say so far, so good. We have uh, large classrooms, a very big building, and we're able through a lot of hard work to figure out a schedule that keeps these kids safe and socially distant. It's a little harder to like plan all school activities because we can't really share anything, which makes it a little different to plan stuff like we have to think outside of the box. School officials say they have been following guidelines from the Minnesota Department of Health, the CDC, and state and local leaders. This first scenario is expected to run for the first six weeks of school. A Cloquet Choir Director is asking for help in making special face masks for her students. Larissa Donnelly, Choir Director for both the middle and high school in Cloquet, is, making, or is looking for help making singers' masks. These masks are much bigger and made with thicker material, which allows the students to breathe and project their voices more clearly. Donnelly has a group of eight women willing to help sew the masks. She knows her students miss singing and says having these masks can get them back on note. Breathing and singing with these masks on, you're breathing in the fabric, whereas the singer's mask projects out so you have more resonance, you have more sound coming back to you, and you're not breathing in the mask. Well, by having these, the kids will be able to still sing, and that's what they miss the most. The choir's goal is 150 masks. If you would like to help make singers' masks, you can head to our website for more information. We'll be right back after the break. Change the future of medicine from the convenience of home. Join the All of Us Research Program to help improve health research and speed up medical breakthroughs. Visit EssentiaHealth.org slash All of Us to learn more. Mariah Haberman here from Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the DW crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on social media and DiscoverWisconsin.com for behind-the-scenes content and great Wisconsin giveaways, including a chance to win a free vacation. This week's featured product package could take you to Ripon. Just visit discoverwisconsin.com for details. Vaping has been declared a national epidemic among youth. One in three high schoolers vape in northeastern Minnesota. My child started having seizures from vaping. There's still so many unknown chemicals. One vape cartridge has as much nicotine as at least two packs of cigarettes. My child was hospitalized with severe lung injuries. They said it was no big deal. My child said it was no risk. That it was under control. That's what my child said, but what could I have said? Get the facts and talk to your child today. Tune in Saturday mornings for the Link Ford lineup, where we will show you amazing vehicles on our lots, like this 2017 Ford Taurus SEL, with a remote start, a backup camera, and more for just $314 a month. Or check out this 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LT for only $399 a month. Want to see more? Then be sure to watch this Saturday. Visit us online at linkmotors.com or stop by either one of our two locations to view our complete inventory. Link Ford, where reputation is everything. 
They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS 3 News with Kristen Vaki and Anthony Matt tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. For breaking stories that impact the Northland most, turn to CBS 3. Watch Anthony Mann weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS 3 Duluth. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Mainstream is your wedding headquarters. Downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over Canal Park on this overcast Tuesday evening in Duluth. Let's take a quick look at today's top stories and peek at what's coming up tonight at 6. A major fire has been burning for hours at the historic Moose Event Center building in downtown Hibbing. Within the last hour, we've learned that the roof has collapsed. Crews are still battling the fire, which broke out this morning at about 10 o'clock. This is what the scene looked like earlier. Heavy smoke and flames spilling out of the top of the building when crews arrived this morning. We'll continue our coverage throughout the rest of the night. Stay with us for the latest. And tonight at 6, the 148th Fighter Wing, Coast Guard Station Duluth, and Coast Guard Air Station Traverse City teamed up for a cross-branch training event today. The 148th simulated pilots having to bail out over Lake Superior. The Duluth Coast Guard responded with boats, and the Traverse City branch responded with a helicopter. That's your news tonight at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. Thanks for watching.